What's up YouTube? Chris here with VB Tech Support. Going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually create your Hello World program. Basically what a Hello World program is, is your first application that you'll ever create in Visual Basic. So it's pretty much just saying, hey, Hello World, here I come. So basically what, what we're going to cover today is going to be very simple. It's just going to be a button executing a command. So just go ahead and go to New Project. Go to Windows Form Application, and we'll just name this Hello World. Okay, once we have this created, our form should pop up right here. Just go ahead and click your form and resize it to how you want it. I'll just make it pretty small. And go down here to your Properties menu. Go over here to where it says Text, and delete Form 1, and go ahead and type in Hello World. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our toolbox and insert a button. Now, to insert a button, you can either double click or click in and drag and wait for your toolbox to retract back in, and then you can drop it right into your form. Now, with our form being this small, it probably won't retract back in, so just double click button and move your mouse, and here you go, it's automatically on your form. Now, before I actually get into the coding part, I'm going to teach you guys a little trick that you can actually do. So I noticed a lot of people try to get their buttons right in the middle of their form, but they can't, really. So just click on your button and go up here to Format. Go to Center and Form, Horizontally, Format, Center and Form, Vertically. This will get it perfectly within your form. Now just go ahead and click on your button. Go down here to Text and change the button one text to Click Me or whatever you want. This is just a test to actually show you guys how Visual Basic executes its commands. So just any time you want to code a program, what you need to do is you need to double click the item. So double click the button, which will open up your uh, form1.vb, which is where your code is going to be inserted, which is public class form1. So anything between private sub and in sub is going to be the coding for what this is here, so button one dot uh, button one underscore click, excuse me. So that tells you right there when button one is clicked, the coding inside these right here will take effect. Now these will take effect in order. So if you want something to happen before a certain command, you're going to need to put in that coding first. So basically, what we're going to do today is we're just going to insert our code here. So basically, we're going to insert a message box for our button to execute. So just type in message box dot show. Now this this command right here allows your message box to actually show up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put what we want our message box to say. So just go ahead and put open parentheses, close parentheses. Inside those, put two quotations. Inside those quotations is going to be the text inside your message box. So we'll put hello world. There we go. So as soon as we go back to our form, uh, our command is inside of our button. So if we click the play button, which is the debug or F5 on your keyboard, your form is going to load up. So if you just click click me, as you can see it says hello world. Just click OK and go ahead and close it out and it should stop debugging. If not, you should just click this stop button here or control alt break. Okay now, we've kind of got into a message box showing. Now let's kind of make the message box a little more advanced. So instead of just saying hello world, let's give it a title. So uh, just go ahead and click comma and space. Two more quotations, and inside those is going to be our title. So say our title's VB Tech Support. Now we can debug this and see how this works. Click me, and as you can see, VB Tech Support is our title. So that actually worked. So basically, this is kind of a introductory kind of our this is our first tutorial on how to create something in Visual Basic. Uh, basically what I'm going to show you guys is like I was talking earlier you can actually act like put this on different items. So just double click this and go ahead and just copy your text. So just go ahead and click copy or control C. Now double click your form. Now when your form loads as you can see here then this execute this command will execute. So we'll just insert that same code that we just had, and when we debug it, our message box should come up. Click OK, and your form will show up. Click it, and there's your message box uh, box again. So yeah, guys, that's just a really quick Hello World program that you can create. Kind of gets you 
kind of familiarized with how the whole coding process is going to take place. Uh, so I, I released two videos today trying to get my ch channel jump started and my website jump started. So make sure you do subscribe to this channel and you do bookmark my website because I'll have a lot of updates uh, very, very soon on this channel. I'm looking forward to actually progressing uh, with videos on this channel. Also subscribe to my RSS feed on my blog, which is on my website as well. Link should be in the description for that. So you guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial.